This is the Schmo with the Pro with the number 10th ranked UFC middleweight Calvin Gastelum here in Las Vegas in a pretty prestigious home international fight week UFC 266. How we doing? I'm doing great, man. Excited to come out here for an international fight week, hang out with the fans, and uh, yeah, welcome to my home. This is my home here in Vegas while I'm out here. And no, I'm kidding. This is this is my manager's house, and uh, we're out here relaxing, about to hit the sauna, but and looking forward to the week. You know, what's your favorite part about International Fight Week, man? Because you've been involved with all the UFC since what 2013. You've seen a lot of these, man. What's your favorite part? Um, well, you know what, this, this year specifically, I know that, uh, they're inducting GSP into the Hall of Fame, and GSP has always been that guy for me, uh, to admire and look up to, and, uh, I think that's what makes it pretty special, so it, it, it's gonna be pretty fun to see that happen. Now talk to the schmo for a second, man. Recently, you just left California and moved back to Arizona. Where's gonna be home for you for the next, say, couple of years? Yeah, uh, well, you know, I had to get... You know, got to get out of my comfort zone, kind of got to sh make some, some things happen, shift some things. And uh, I think uh, going up over there with, with Henry and, and his people is, is a good idea for now to try and get a, uh, try and make some things happen, try and elevate myself, try and shift some things. And uh, hopefully some, a lot of good comes out of it. Will you still be commuting to Master Cordero in Huntington Beach and still working with the team over at Kings MMA? Without a doubt. I'll be going back and forth a lot. I told them uh, they won't even notice I'm gone, you know, because I'll be going back and forth. And, uh, yeah, whenever I step in that battlefield, you know, in the octagon, that, that uh, Kings MMA flag will be standing high. What was it like training with Marvin Vittori? Because obviously both you two are highly ranked in this division. Both have the same management. What was it like battling with him over the past couple of months? Because you're both looking for the same thing, looking for gold. Yeah, it's always been great to test myself against him. Um, I kind of see that as a gauge. You know, he's always he always stays ready, whether he has a fight or not. The guy's training like an animal, so I always try and gauge myself off of that because, um, you know, he, he's he's an animal. You know, he's one of the best guys in the world, and so I like to gauge myself where I'm at, whether I'm ready for a fight or not uh, when I'm going with him. Aside from the Jack Hermanson loss, it was the heel hook. All these losses, though, recently have been decisions, man. Things that you could just tweak right then and there. When you reflect over the past couple of weeks, what's going to be the biggest change when you're making the move here in Arizona and getting back on track to getting the mission for gold? Yeah, man. You know, we're, we're sitting in these locker rooms after these fights and we're just realizing how much better we are after, you know, and realize how, how these fights shouldn't even be that close. And um, that's what I'm be working on, working on finishing fights. You know, th these fights, I'm sitting after in the locker room with my coach and be like, man, there's so much more that we could have done, you know. And, and, I mean, but the, you know, what ifs, I mean, what ifs don't exist, you know what I mean? But uh, I just realized uh, I got to finish fights. That's it. And you're someone who started at welterweight and then went to 185, and you're 100% confident 185 middleweight is the Calvin Gaston division. <laughs> well, that's something that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe possibly hire a dietitian, maybe move down, but, but it'll take some time, you know. I, I, I'm, if I do this, it'll, I'll be fine probably next year, which is, which is most likely the case. When the schmo looks at the film, the person that made the champ in middleweight, Israel Adesanya, the toughest fight, man. You look at his face after the fight, that was from you, man. That five-round war over in Atlanta, UFC 2 36, man. When you reflect and you look at that time, man, do you only have good vibes since that time and what you can accomplish? Because you're still relatively young in this sport. Yeah, you know, that, that was, to me, that was the fun, most funnest I've ever had, uh, ever. Um, you know, we, we, we live and we train for these kinds of fights. And, you know, I didn't get the result that I wanted, but I, I had a hell of a time. <laughs> That's for damn sure. That's right, man. And what's the one thing that you're going to ask Henry when you get into the gym with him, man, and you start training over there in Arizona? Um, you know, how to elevate myself. He's got a, uh, he's got a way of thinking, a way of, of doing things and processing things um, that is just slightly above uh, normal. And uh, I want to see how I can get there. All right. Ortega or Volkanovski, 266, who's got this one? That'd be interesting. You know what? I, I kind of see Ortega kind of win this one by submission for some reason. Mexican blood running strong. There we go. Viva Mexico. <laughs> Final message for all the Calvin Gaslam fans out there worldwide. Um, whatever. The, what, what was that one? Final message for all your fans. Oh, the final message. Hey. Hey. 
no, no, I'm just thinking like, I'm not done. I mean, it may seem like I'm done, but I'm not done, guys. We're just getting started. I'm about to hit my prime, man. I feel like good things are going to come out of this. So yeah. be on the lookout. It's like Kobe Bryant making the change from number eight to 24, <laughs> second phase of the career. That's right, baby. Be on the lookout. That's right. He's the pro on the Schmo Las Vegas, Nevada International Fight Week. We're out. <laughs>